A quick show of hands. How many, how many people like Nixenta technology, love the team, but more importantly, agree that Tarkin is one of the masters in the universe when it comes to marketing? <laughs> show of hands, All right? So I had to come in with some sizzle because otherwise I would never even come close to the standards that you've established in the industry, Tarkin. Thank you again for inviting us. We'd love to be part of this uh, of, of this uh, very illustrative crowd that we have uh, gathered. Real quick, um, like to always ground ourselves on the reality of the world we're living in. Right? So when we tell our team members, hey, listen, this is what's happening in the market. This is what's happening around the world. We now need to make sure that we're relevant and we're transforming the industry based on the dynamics that we're seeing. So stay with me here for a second. Let's do a quick uh, tour around the world. Europe, right? Just barely over 1% or, or positive GDP. Some geopolitical instability, unbelievable unemployment rates in Greece, Italy. We've got, if you're a local company, you've got foreign exchange and, and local currency to deal with. And you've got still some bank deregulation that's going on and some, some debt leverage that needs to be established. Those are the dynamics in Europe. You go further to Asia, you see that the GDP decline in China is stabilizing around 7.3%. Most of us can remember still the days of 13, 14% tremendous growth. Graduating 7 million students, very well educated college students every year. Not enough jobs for 7 million students. That economy needs to transfer over from being an export-based economy to being a consumption-based economy. Harder to do when you have extremely employment rates or not enough jobs for everyone that's graduating, plus some of the real estate expenses going up. Transformation is happening in that market, which by definition is still one of the biggest GDP producers in the globe. Come down to Americas. Latin America, you've got pretty big elections happening in Argentina and Brazil later this year. Everyone expecting it's gonna be more of a pro-economic environment that will be established there. We're all hoping that that'll be the case because they are fighting some inflation rates. You still see some D um, GDP growth, which is encouraging, but some of that macro and economic headwinds we're seeing makes it really tough to grow in that market. U.S growing roughly at about 2.5% GDP. We think that can go up to about 3% and stabilize by 2017. However, if you look at the recovery of this recession, it is the slowest recovery of any recovery in US history of any recession we've ever had. Now, the good news is we do believe it's somewhat stable, um, and we do believe we're still gonna see some up ebbs and flows from, uh, from an economic performance perspective the variance might be a little bigger, but we do see some consistent growth. Now, with that big uplifting message to everybody, how does this all, what does that all mean to us? It means that we need to transform the industry. It means that a software defined X, open SDX, is gonna help make changes in the market that are gonna drive transformation because guess what? We're gonna have to do it within the environment that we're engaged with today. We're gonna to have to do it within the economic conditions that we're facing around the world, right? And this is why it's critically important for Dell because we are not afraid to drive that transformation. We don't have legacy business models that we're protecting. We truly believe that the greatest value is delivering and enabling customers to achieve business outcomes within the economic environments that they're facing, within the geographic environments that they're in, and the industries that they're in. So when you see a software-defined ecosystem, which by definition probably will include large components of open source-based architectures, one might say, well, hey, the old traditional players in the industry are gonna avoid making those moves at an exponential rate to deliver value to customers. We're not in that situation. We truly wanna embrace those technologies. 
We truly want to drive that transformation because what customers want, they want to understand, they want to utilize the technology, but they don't want to have incremental risk on the deployment side. So what are they looking for? They're looking for tier one infrastructure providers to certify, guarantee, and warranty the solutions that they then ultimately deploy around the world and be able to support it on a global basis. That's why we're so excited about what a software-defined ecosystem will provide to the market and what the big play that Dell can be in making that happen. So let me walk you through a couple of the key components on what we are driving to make this happen, inclusive of partnerships uh, with, uh, with Nexenta uh, around the world. Key to what we do is believe in a compute-centric architecture. How do we drive storage? How do we drive data? How do we drive application compute as close to the core server compute node as possible? Right? If you bring your application and you bring your data close to the compute node, you'll be able to have performance that exceeds any other performance out there in the market. So what did we do? We created a tier zero caching technology, which allows you to run, for example, an Oracle database application at 5 million IOPS, performance that no one else has delivered. Then you tie that into a tier one full um, um, flash array that seamlessly tiers um, your data at any level. So a tier one, tier two, tier three, depending on what you're looking for. That tier one all flash array can operate at four, 450 IOPS, which will take care of almost 80 to 90% of any of the applications that customers want to use in any customer segment. Obviously, completely connected with an extremely high bandwidth, extremely low latency network architecture, all done in an open industry standards way. And from a core management tool set capabilities, what we have is utilizing some of the open source technology that allows us to discover every device that's on your network. Right? We are not asking for a rip and replace strategy. We don't think that's the right approach for our customers. What we're encouraging is for you to take advantage of the investments you already made and then partner with Dell. Partner with Dell and its ecosystem to accelerate the movement to a flexible and agile architecture model which has tremendous performance, but delivers great total cost of ownership for you and seamlessly plugs and plays into your existing environment. Okay? What you then see um, is an open standards-based technology base, which most of uh, our customers are expecting and demanding. Uh, obviously, a highly reliable, highly scalable, and dynamic architecture. Um, and what you also see us do is, how do we make sure that it's engineered and optimized for the applications that you're running? Ultimately, the conversation with the C-suite, ultimately the conversation with the CIO is about how do I, how do I, how do we enable faster business outcomes by enabling their customers and enabling their internal constituencies? Typically, that is what applications they'll make available, how quickly can I provision and orchestrate the infrastructure needed to make those applications available? How quickly can that sc I scale that out for the various marketing campaigns that I need to run in certain geographies? How can I secure it and how can I support it? And do that in a seamless manner around the globe extremely efficiently. That's what we do. And we seek out key partners to make sure that when you looked at the video, if there was anyone that's still confused about Dell being a PC company only, hopefully I've helped you see that there is a lot more to what we're doing and there's a lot more around the ecosystem that we're providing and where there might be opportunities to extend that portfolio to deliver tremendous value. We're partnering with providers like Nixenta to deliver that optimized solution for our customers. If you think about it, all of you, most everybody is thinking or doing or in embarking on a 
virtualization environment. We all know that the server ecosystem is well down the path, moving down the networking space and moving to the storage space. Right? We all know that a software-defined ecosystem where you try to bifurcate the hardware from the operating system level is also an opportunity to drive efficiency and agility around the organizations. There are many different ways to do that. One of the ways that we're doing it in the storage environment is together with Nexenta. We have a converged storage and compute architecture that leverages our technology that delivers a best-in-class solution with both Nexenta as well as Dell. It's a highly engineered, secure, and scalable solution that provides a massive linear scale-out architecture. The right size at the right time for the right cost with the ability to scale out at the rate at which a customer wants to consume it. That delivers greatest value because it truly is able to fit the needs that you have at that exact moment without the worry about what do I do next when my business uh, goes to the next levels. The joint partnership that we have enables us to deliver this capability and the value around the world on a consistent basis uh, with tremendous support from the Dell ecosystem that we have and our team members collectively. Customers like ESRI, one of the largest geographic mapping and information providers around the world, is an example of one of our customers that we've jointly pursued. And we've been extremely successful being able to provide great value in a, a software-defined and storage virtualized environment that enables them to scale and enables them to provide value and growth for their particular company. So one example of many things that we're doing together uh, with Nexenta. This is a space that is going to grow. Tarkin mentioned it. Many of the presenters today have talked about how data and storage, both internal and external storage, is, uh, is at an all-time high from a growth perspective. We're seeing examples of 70% growth of internal storage. So if you tie in the market, so if you tie back to what I mentioned about an, an architecture that brings the solution as close to the compute power as possible, when you see some of the data points of how extra internal storage as a part of the server sale is growing exponentially, we certainly see that happening and we certainly embrace it and we certainly want to make sure that as people utilize their server virtualization environment, they can then also seamlessly service their storage virtualization environment. And with all the capabilities that Nexenta brings to the table, we certainly have an amazing and robust solution across the board that services the, the specific customer needs. So, I know you've had a long morning. Yeah. I know that you're all anxiously waiting for your, your breakout session uh, and a networking opportunity. Again, I wanted to thank Nick Senta and I want to thank Tarkin and the team for inviting us to be part of the session with you. Uh, as investors, but more importantly, as partners in delivering value to customers, uh, this is a, a, a fantastic relationship and the opportunity and the growth that we're seeing together uh, is extremely exciting. And um, we hope that we can have conversations ongoing with all of you, and we hope that uh, as your, uh, your companies continue to grow, that we can be part of your, your success. Um, and I know the, the Dell team around the world would love to do that. So again, thank you very much. Thank you for uh, letting me come and spend some time with you. Appreciate it.